All right, so let's test this water. It's supposed to be natural spring water. Let's see what it comes out to be. All right, well, starting off, let's start with the pH. Okay, oh, finally a neutral pH, my gosh. Thank goodness. All right, so we've got a seven. It's changing, so just just give it a second. Uh, neutral pH water is is uh, is certainly uh, good for you. Water is good for you as long as it's a neutral pH or better. You want to try if you do drink soda and or, or you know coffee or other acidic liquids though try to drink water that's more alkaline than just neutral because you the higher the alkalinity the more it will off balance uh, or or provide balance or a buffer for your blood when you if you you know if you drink a soda in the day you you definitely want to provide some kind of buffer for that all right so it looks like we're about a seven point seven point seven eight pH and let's take a look and see what the um, ORP is now this is not good this is definitely not good this ORP is 330 and or 329 that's a positive ORP and um, you don't want a positive ORP that's going to oxi oxidize your cells you want a negative ORP so I'm just going to have to just based on that have to reject that water all right next thing I'm going to show you is the just I, I, I'll just go ahead and, and do water out of the tap what the heck uh, and, and compare that you know because a lot of people think oh gee that tap water that's just terrible oh don't don't drink tap water and I I, can, I would have to agree because it's got a lot of chlorine in it and, and bad stuff so I, I would have to agree don't but let's just see where it tests um, and um, starting with the pH now St. Louis does treat their water and filter it pretty you know pretty reasonably it's got a 10.21 pH so um, that's what I'm talking about as far as uh, the, the, the pH of the water that you want to try to drink something up in that range now um, ORP though that's not good uh, 282 positive ORP that's gonna again like I've been saying that's going to oxidize your cells I'm just gonna have to reject that water so let me get another cup out here and let's just test water from the ionizer now this is a Jupiter Melody water ionizer and uh, what happens is the water goes through the ionizer and there are platinum coated titanium electrodes which are very expensive by the way uh, that the water goes through and a little bit of electricity goes into that in the making and um, what happens is it splits the water molecules from a, a pretty uh, large cluster of 13 and it splits it down into a cluster of about six or se uh, six, let's say, and that's that makes it so it makes it wetter water if you've ever heard of that term, wetter water. But uh, it not only makes it wetter water, but it improves the pH. Now, um, it it brought you know it 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 already St. Louis water is already at a pretty good pH, so but it did make it a little bit better 10.8 pH it looks like and then the ORP is the real clincher though now it <laughs> it went from the positive <laughs> range 
bing, right into the negative range. A negative 297. That's fantastic. Um, when you have a negative ORP like that, instead of oxidizing your cells, your water is going to go in and it's going to bathe your cells in an antioxidant water. And what that's going to do is let all your wastes uh, come out of the cells and be eliminated from your body. It's going to help in that process and um, ultimately uh, reduce your disease, chances of disease, and increase your life expectancy and um, health. So.